is so exciting. It is because, you know, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Hey, <laughs> And St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. And whether it's the top of the morning hey. or the bottom of the morning, never too early to make an Irish coffee. <laughs> Joining us live to teach us how to do this, Irish mixologist Jillian Murphy. Hi, you're in Chicago. Good morning, folks. I am. So it's slightly later in Chicago, so I feel like maybe a more acceptable hour to have an Irish coffee. Okay. All right, so. But I see that you guys are all set up there and ready to go. We are. Shall we make one? Oh, yeah. yes. So Drew has a little experience with this, mm -hmm. but Jobini and I have absolutely no idea what to do. So please help. Well, it's very simple. We'll break it down nice and easy for you. So firstly, what you're going to want to do is fill up a glass with hot water, just to make sure that the drink to come will be nice and warm. So I'm going to start by dumping out my hot water. I'm putting two cubes of brown sugar straight into my glass. So in they go there. And then I'm going to top the glass off about three quarters of the way with strongly brewed coffee. You want to make sure you're using great quality ingredients here for a nice, strong brew. Coffee. Okay, did you guys get the sugar part though? Oh, wait, I think you missed that. Oh, you put the sugar in first, right? Sugar in first, okay. exactly. Okay. Sugar first, sugar first. So is this going to be like a packet? We don't have cues, but like a packet of sugar? How much? Oh. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, tell me. Okay. Okay. I open the sugar. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. I know, but he's being accommodating, yes. Jillian. But I just shook it all over the place. Okay, so we're going to do, a, you said a, a, a bag of sugar? Yep. Uh huh. And then, and then the coffee, right? Exactly. About three quarters of a way because we still want to leave room for the Tullamore Dew and the fresh cream. So make sure you don't fill it the whole way up. Okay, you guys have done this before. You look like experts. I mean once or twice in my lifetime. <laughs> a good happy hour. <laughs> okay. okay, so we want to get our spoon now and start mixing the sugar into the coffee. Make sure it's nice and diluted. Okay. Huh? Go. Very good. And now for the most important part, in my opinion, the Tullamore Dew, the Irish whiskey. Yum. So once that's all mixed in, we're gonna measure out about two parts of Tullamore Dew Irish whiskey, and we're gonna put that right in there. All right. So Tullamore Dew being, of course, the world's most popular, least famous Irish whiskey, because <laughs> even though we're the number two best selling in the world, a lot of people haven't heard of us. Oh, Drew, yes, thank you. Pour, Pour it. Some in there. <laughs> Did you measure this? I, I, you know, my eye's really good. Okay. <laughs> I also had a heavy pour, yeah. so. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I've been to your house before. <laughs> okay. I stumbled out. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I fell asleep. Okay, so we're going to stir this, Jillian? Yes. Yep. 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 Drew, right. pour we're in the for... Dew. Yep. We're ready for the tricky part now. So this is where I need very steady hands, and you guys need to be on your best behavior there. Okay. We're going to do the cream. <laughs> so for anybody watching and following along at home, we just have some heavy cream in here, and it's been lightly whipped. So it's still gonna have a pouring consistency, um, but definitely a little, a little bit more thick than runny cream. Wait. So we're gonna get our spoon again, and we're gonna, oh yeah, we're shaking the cream here. Okay, yes. put a little shake. You gotta put cream in it, do you have cream in yours? Yeah, but don't you have to take this out first? Yeah, you do. Don't worry. Oh, See? oh look at you, okay. Look at that. Okay. Oh. I gotta put. I gotta put cream okay. in it. Let, let me not question Drew. Uh, <laughs> how much cream do we put in? So you don't need a whole pile. We only need to top off the Irish coffee. Oh, so okay, okay. Like okay. And I shake it, right? Yes, but don't shake it too much because we still want to make sure that it can pour. Okay. So definitely give it a bit more body. Okay. Body. I'm going to see. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. This is a Megan. Body crazy, Kirby. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> Cha, cha, cha. Okay, I think I want to say mine is. I think mine's almost there. Here we go. Wait, ba, ba, ba. This looks cool when people do it at the bar, but not when I know. do it. We don't have the pizzazz. Okay, yeah, you guys. Is that enough? Okay, I think we got it. Whoa. Oh, yeah, mine looks good. Okay. Yeah, yours looks good. Mm -hmm. Does everybody have a spoon? We do. Yep, yep. yep. Yes. Great, so you're gonna take your spoon and you're gonna dip it into your hot coffee mixture because we want our spoon to be warm for when we're pouring the cream over top. Okay. okay. Dip it in there. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is just put the spoon in the middle of the coffee at the top 
Okay. Just hovering at the top, and we're going to pour the cream over the back of the spoon, and it should just layer nicely on top Ooh, of okay. our okay. Over the back of the spoon. Over the back, so flip it over exactly. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So I will say mine did not layer nicely on top. Look, but it looks good. Look at this masterpiece, Jillian. You are a pro. Look at that. That's perfection. Thank you. All thanks to you. You're the teacher. Well, cheers, guys. And if folks are watching in, San, in the San Francisco area, we've got some amazing local bars and restaurants that make these great Irish coffees that you don't need to make them yourself at home if you don't have the skill of that you folks have so you can call into the buena vista cafe mm. casement original joe's tier 23 or perry san francisco all make a wonderful irish coffee this is great cheers, cheers. to jillian oh, jillian what's a what's an irish toast yeah what's an irish toast so the most famous irish toast is slauncha of course but when it's saint patrick's day we like to say the nights will never remember it, but the friends will never forget. Oh, oh to the nights will, will never remember it, to the friends will never, never forget. forget. Or the morning. Try this. Mm hmm. Yum. I think I did a really good job. This is good. I did really good, Jillian. I, good. I've oh, never had an Irish. This is my first <laughs> Irish coffee. <laughs> I had a sip. Drew oh. had to drink. Well, uh, well I mean, hello. Uh, when well, in Ireland. Drew is part, part <laughs> Irish. Yeah, I'm a quarter, quarter Irish. Quarter Irish. We already knew. I gotta drink this in the break. I don't know how my reaction will be. <laughs> Jillian, this is really fun. If we fall over at the end of the show, then we've done it right. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that. Responsible drinking is always the way to go. Oh, yes. That, too. that part. Yes. That part. Correct. Jillian, we did have a question about the nutmeg uh, balls. What oh, yeah. Were well, we supposed to put yes. nutmeg on us? It's entirely optional. Some traditional places choose to add nutmeg and some leave it out. So it's your preference. Okay. Right. If you do, if you're a nutmeg fan or maybe even a cinnamon fan, you can just get a little hand grater and grind some of the fresh nutmeg over um, and it's delicious too. But it really depends on the establishment. As long as we're using fresh cream, great quality Irish whiskey and strong coffee, we were set for, for success. This is fun. Jillian, thank you so much. We really appreciate your expertise. Say hi to Chicago for us. Slauncha. All right, and here's the ingredients in case you want to make this at home, which I think you really should. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. See, you just got that Tullamore Dew whiskey. Mm -hmm. You got the coffee. You got the brown sugar, the lightly whipped cream. That's key. That is key. That is really key. Don't go cheap on that part. Mm -mm. Don't try and just get the um, ready whip. Ready whip or the can. Yeah, which, I mean, nothing against no, that. It's a great love, choice, love. but not for this, not for this <laughs> thing. Okay, we'll, be, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> This is the song we sing when we're drinking And if we've been drinking, we'll probably go for drunk And if it can be drunk, then we probably drink it But a true friend will never leave you stumped He'll save you the last one, he'll buy you that last round He'll lend you a Yankee dollar or a red coat 